Now we're going to show you how to change your screensavers and event sounds. Okay, so you probably saw something when Roger was fooling around earlier. There's a lot of screensavers that Windows comes with, but people don't know a lot about you, that you can actually go in and customize them. One of my favorite customizations that I've ever done is actually in a screensaver. And I right clicked on the desktop. I chose prop. Sorry, I didn't mean to go too fast. Right click on the desktop. I chose prop, uh, properties, and then I went over to the screensaver tab. And now I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for a screensaver that apparently isn't here, but that's okay because I know it's on another computer. Let me flip back to that other computer just a second, real quick here. I'm going to flip to another computer. It's a beautiful thing. See, we've got everything hooked up. This is the computer I, I'm going to use so I can show you that screensaver that I want to customize. Again, right click on the desktop, screensaver. Ah, there we go. This is the stuff you've probably seen before. This 3D flying objects. What is that thing? Well, 3D flying objects. Go ahead and press settings for 3D flying objects. Instead of using the Windows logo, let's change that to a textured flag. Okay, texture flag. We're going to choose. Now we have to choose the texture. So let's click texture. That basically means image. Now I'm going to bop to the desktop because that's where all my images are. And let's use the call for help wallpaper this time. Now I've, I've selected that. I press open. I press, and I can change other things. I can make, I can make it big. I can make it small. I'm going to make it big. Oh, actually, that, that's the resolution. So that's the, the size of the, the size is going to be. Let's change the size of it as well. That made no sense at all. But look, look watch what happens when I press preview. Just watch what happens. Look at that. It's a flag with the call for help wallpaper. Isn't that neat? You can do that with any bitmap, any, just about any image sitting on your hard drive. You can change it using that particular screensaver. Now, I'm going to show you another screensaver that you can customize that I think is really kind of cool. Something called an Easter egg. Now, before you saw, you saw the, maze, uh, the maze one, and that, that Roger was running through that earlier. It's got a couple pictures in here. You can go and you can customize that one. But the one I want to show you is 3D text. And normally, this is just a 3D text bounce, bouncing around. Now, for the settings, I'm going to change the text to Volcano. Press OK. And now I'm going to press Preview. Now, watch what happens. I typed in Volcano, but what? all these words fly in. Washington flies in. That's a volcano. Uh, I can't read this one. It's going too fast. But what's happening is these are Volcano's names. It's an Easter egg. So if you go in and you change the 3D text, text to Volcano, you'll get all these names of volcanoes. It's a great way to educate your kids or educate yourself. So that's how you can customize the screensaver to your liking. Now, I want to go into customizing the sounds. I think this is like the most fun that I had last night making these things. Are we ready to roll with this, guys? Here we go. All right, so I recorded my own voice for sound events on my, on my computer. So I'm going to open this. Awesome. That's me. Awesome. Okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. There we go. Cool. That's me. Boy, this is not moving very fast, is it? You don't want that. Dude! Sorry, it's taking so long here. Winamp must be queuing it. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, it isn't? Really? Are you sure? Uh-uh. Okay. Well, you know, it's long. Hey, who's got it? Gotcha. Okay, well, you know, if you ever wanted to hear the, uh, the sound at... Call for help. This is Chris Perello. What can I do for you? Isn't that funny? That's funny. Uh-huh. 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 Let's see here. What's this one? Totally. Totally. It's amazing. Isn't this so cool? This is how you do it. You can, you can make your own sounds. You can actually use a program that comes with Windows called Sound Recorder. And it's usually found in Start, Programs, Accessories, I believe Multimedia. If, if it's not under Multimedia, then gosh, it, it was before, I swear. Oh, there we go. It's under Entertainment, actually. I would have put it under Multimedia, but that's just me. It's called Sound Recorder, and with that, it opens up a little window. You press the little record button. If you get your microphone hooked up, you can go, hey, this is Chris, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, we don't have it hooked up, but then you can save that as a WAV file. Here's how you apply it and make it part of your system. So I'm going to click Start. Sorry about that. I got a little bit clamped. Let's close this. Gotcha. Did you, did you hear that? I, 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 I clo went to close it. Gotcha. But I programmed the gotcha sound to pop up every time, that, every time a dialog like that popped up. And you customize that by going to settings, control panel, speed up, click sounds. And then in there, you can go in and you can change the different events. So I can, for my default sound, I can press browse. And I can go to the desktop because that's where all my settings are, are at right now. Cover up desktop. These are all the sounds I have. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Yep. Totally, dude. That's the one I want. So I'm going to press OK. And now, anytime a default sound happens, after I press Apply, then it'll sound, it'll say, totally, dude, in my sound. So that's how you can go about customizing your desktop. So it'll gotcha. be. It, yeah, thank you, Chris. I really appreciate that. Just shut up. Got to go to commercial.